friend, you there? I didn't pick up if you there. Of course you wouldn't answer the damn phone. Listen, I just called to tell you I'm going to mom's now. I'm worried about her. She's a fucking wreck. I know she wanted you there. But listen, do mom a favor and don't show up. She has enough to deal with without having to deal with you acting all crazy and shit. Just stay home. My father died today. I think it was a heart attack, but I can't remember. I should have been upset. Instead, I made eggs. You would think you would have called me to tell me your father died, but no! I have to hear it from your mother! I made eggs. Want some? Are you kidding me? Are you well? Of course I am. Don't lie to me, Renton. I'm fine. I promise. Are you going to your mother's tonight? She told me she wanted to see you. Alex told me not to. Alex is an idiot. God, it'll be good for you. Think my mom cares if I'm there or not? Of course she will. If you say so. I have a few errands to run, but I'll see you later. You got a few bucks for the bus van? I'm a bit tapped out trying to get us down. Wow. That's cold. Real cold. Anyway, where are you going today? You don't have work. Uptown. Why is that? You don't know anyone uptown. Hey, you really don't know anyone downtown either. My father died. I'm going to see my mother. Damn. Sorry, bud. It's okay. I haven't spoken to him in a while. I'm going to see my mother. Well, I really don't think that's a good idea. You've never even met my mother. No, but I know mothers. And she's going to be a fucking wreck. Crying and blabbering. You really want to hear that? Not really. Right. Because you know what's going to happen. You're going to show up. And she's going to be a mess. Whining. Look at what really happens. At funerals, it just starts being about them and not the person who died. People are really just being like that. I have to go. It doesn't make much of a difference whether I'm there or not. So I might as well. My brother doesn't want me to go. Well, he's looking out for you like I am. He knows it'll be a mess. No. Alex isn't the lookout for the type. He doesn't want me to make things worse. Well, you got a phone, right? Call the old lady up and avoid the waterworks. I could. I'm already here. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You know I can't bodyguard you forever. Alex told me not to. That damn blood of yours, he just doesn't know how to deal with that. Poor Alex. He said I would upset you. Where was that brother of yours anyway? Where did he go? To get some flowers for me. Alex said it would cheer me up. He's so much like your father. Can I get you something? Coffee? Tea? Something to eat? Yeah. Coffee. Please. I'll be right back. Just sit down. We probably should get back any minute. Then maybe I can get the two of you to talk.
What are you doing here? I warned you. I told you not to come. Wait, what? What are you doing here? Were you watching me? Did you I had to. I had to rescue you from this. Rescue me? Did you say, dear? Nothing. Look, now's her chance. Go while she's busy. What are you doing? Your brother's going to be here any second. You really want to hear him blast you in front of your mother? No. But she looked happy. Happy to see me? Happy to see you? Happiness is just a momentary trick. It makes you believe that everything's going to be okay. But you know what, Rankin? It never is. Plus, did she even mention you? You were listening? Of course I was. I had to. Someone has to look out for you. Now listen. Did she say your name at least once? You know what's gonna happen once your brother shows up, right? I'm not saying we're gonna talk. Yeah, right! When have you two ever talked about anything? You'd be lucky if he doesn't pop in the face just for showing up. Nothing. Yeah, right. Ten bucks says you come home with a china. Now he's never gonna leave. What are you doing here? Renton invited me. You invited him? No, no, no. I ran into him earlier, but I didn't think he'd follow me here. You're unbelievable. Just leave. Hey, I'll leave when he leaves, because he shouldn't even be here. What are you talking about? I'm taking him out of here before this whole thing goes to hell. you just shut up. You have no idea what you're talking about. Why don't you just stay out of it? You're not his keeper. I've got dinner in the oven. Oh, your brother called. He said he'd be a few minutes. Oh, I forgot your coffee. Hold on a minute. You okay in there, honey? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Good. Look what you're doing. You're just starting trouble. Hey, I'm not starting anything. Listen, Renton, let's just get out of here. Don't listen to him. Your mother needs you. She loves you. Didn't you see the look on her face? And I saw the guilt. In about two seconds, she'll be ready to barge in here, start yelling, comparing him to his brother. Shut up! This isn't your family! Just butt out! Look what you're doing. You're just getting close. She's ready to barge in here. Start yelling! Just butt out! She's just starting to see what I'm saying. Come on, be good for you. I really Your mom's favorite. Don't say it. Oh, well. Well, he shouldn't even Snap out of it! I didn't do anything! They were fighting, not me! I was being good! I have to get outside. What the fuck are you doing here? I told you not to come! I can do what I want! No, you can't because you're fucking insane! Mom didn't want to believe it, Dad ignored it, but I am not going to be like them. I'm not insane. I'm fine. And all Mom and Dad did was pay attention to you. Shut up, you have no idea what you're talking about. All Mom and Dad did was pay attention to you. You're fine? That's hilarious. You're not okay. You think sitting in there, talking to yourself is fine? What are you talking about? <laughs> Tell me that you're not taking your medicine. Tell me that you're choosing to stay in that little, little world of yours. I don't need them. It makes me feel... No, you're kidding me with this, right? You're fucking kidding with me. I knew you pulled this shit. Talking to your little friends, upsetting mom. Just like old times. Don't talk about them that way. Especially Natalie. No, 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 not this Natalie thing again. I thought you dropped that. Listen to me. Listen closely. There is no Natalie. There's never gonna be a Natalie. If you ever want to have a chance at living a normal life, you have to let this go. No! You're lying. She loves me more than you or mom ever could. I don't have time for this. Mom's probably having a meltdown in there. Just wait here. I'll deal with you later. You know our father's dead. Do you realize this has been our life? Me beating the shit out of you because you can't do anything right? I'm setting mom and dad. You want to pay dad some grievance? Take fucking care of yourself. 
so maybe we could all live a normal life. Total bus kill, right? I tried to warn you. I told you we should go. I should have listened to you. Hey, man. I'm always right. And don't you ever forget it. Where are you going? Gotta go, man. But don't worry. I'm always there when you need me. Hey. Natalie. Please tell me you exist. We can't live like this anymore. You should listen to Alex. Why? Before, Before you... Before I wanted you to be happy. Now you need to do something about it. For you to be happy, I can't be here. But I want you here. No. You need something real. Someone you could touch and feel. But who? Who would want me? Someone will. I know it. What did you do? You want me to be happy? That doesn't make me happy. But you need those. I need you. You're the only thing that ever made sense to me. Besides, all I ever did was make my family miserable. It's better off to them I don't exist. Brent, you can't live like this anymore. You need to exist. You have to live. I'll gladly accept insanity with open arms if it means I can live like this.